buttercup dragon mac and cheese. I'm not even sure if that's right. What up, Buttercup? We're gonna get right into this. I'm going to show you guys how I finalize my artwork in the most proper way of doing this and super easy and really quick. So let's get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna recommend you guys do after your artwork is completely dry to seal it, I was really nervous about protecting my artwork somehow and like rubbing stuff all over my, my, my work. I use a cold wax medium. I'll drop a link to this down below, but essentially what you do is you just like rub this white waxy stuff all over it. It doesn't make the image look waxy or anything like that. It just is gonna help to protect the color from fading as well as like anybody touching it or anything like that. So after all that's said and done, go wash your disgusting sticky fingers and let's get started making sure that your image lays flat as well as uh, getting, getting all the tape off of it properly. Hopefully you already know this trick, but if not, welcome to the world of making your life easier. Stop tearing up your paper, get a hair dryer. So I'm gonna take all the tape off the edges of this. I had it taped up um, just on my wall before I you know, go through and like mush all of my paper. So I'm gonna get the tape off by gently heating this up. Be sure not to burn your paper or hold it on there for too long, yada, yada, yada. Let's get into it. So real quick, um, if you notice that any of the sticky stuff is like, make sure there's just no sticky residue on that. Okay, now don't make the same mistake I did. You're gonna want your surface clean. Um, yesterday I was messing with one of my paintings and I turned it upside down on my countertop without checking my countertop and I got an oil stain on one of my paintings and that really sucks. It pretty much ruins the paper because the oil just goes straight through it and there's nothing that I can do. So go ahead, make sure your surface is clean, flip this over. You're going to get a cup with some water and a brush and you're just going to soften the back of the paper. What? You don't want to use a whole heck of a lot of water. It's like not necessary, but just get it wet. No method to this madness, really just trying to cover the whole thing. I'm using just a small amount of water here and spreading it out. This one wasn't as lumpy as a lot of my other paintings, but that is because I worked just section by section on this one, so it didn't have a whole lot of time for the paper to warp. Didn't really have an issue with that too much, but no matter what, no matter like what I do with my paintings, the paper is going to warp, and this is a really quick and easy fix for that. So, almost done here. I could have used a bigger brush, but whatever. Make sure it's all good. Corner to corner. Wet enough. Yeah. All right. Now that it's all moldable, what you want to do? So you want to put even heavy pressure on it. So I have this big watercolor pad. I'm gonna open it up. Jesus, crispy, crisp, Christmas, Christmas, Jesus. Lay this in. I have a got a big chunk of it that's going to lay on top. Now I'm going to put pressure all the way across it. I'm using books and this like super heavy plant, fake plant, just laying it on top of this. Um, you definitely can get extra heavy stuff to put across all of this, but you want to make sure that you've got a lot of really even pressure going across the whole thing. And just a real quick shake. 
show you. Just take all of that. Um, this is what it will turn out like. Now, keep in mind this one was a lot more warped than the one prior, but you can see that there's no warping whatsoever on this paper. And it lays really nice and flat on the surface. So I don't have much warping. There's just slight edge coming up here, but it makes it a lot easier to be able to take photos of your images <laughs> if there's no warping on them. Um, whenever you go to take your image, you know, from above and stuff like that to be able to make prints and whatnot, that you'll have a nice flat image that warping, the shadows will show up on the warping. There's really not a whole lot you can do other than try to get it flat. Um, I'm very happy with this technique to getting them completely flat. It works really well. I hope this helps you guys. It works really well for you guys. And like I said, I'll drop links down below and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye. Touching it and stuff like that. I'm not saying that's definitely going to happen.